Another project here is I've got this golf cart. Uh, it's completely stock. It had a roof on it. I took off and I've set it aside because I'm going to install a uh, rear flip seat. I'll take the golf bag holders off and install this rear flip seat. I bought the kit. It looks to be fairly simple. I've got everything laid out here on the table. The instructions, the parts, everything that comes in the kit. Even the hardware bags are numbered. So it's pretty simple to do. Um, I've verified that I, all the inventory is what I need. So now all I have to do is get started taking this apart. long bolts and they're very dry but uh, there's a little rust there but they weren't corroded too bad so so here's what I've got now is just the uh, chain chassis frame on both sides that I need to clean up a little bit. I'm gonna clean those and give them a shot of some rust proofing uh, primer underneath just to keep, uh, keep it alive a little bit longer. Here's the engine compartment. Well, the, uh, I guess the platform or the deck or the bed or whatever you wanna call that is, is on there. Um, one of the things the instructions said was to Install these vertical brackets here in the outermost most hole. Well, that outermost hole right there had a uh, pop rivet in it. So I drilled that out and I put those brackets on and I went to install the, the step that goes here. And it didn't line up. Lo and behold, there's another outermost hole over here that wasn't drilled through from the top. So I had to go underneath. The frame underneath had the hole, so I ran the drill up through the bottom. So anyway, I got that part on. The next is that the step goes on there in the back. So that's what we'll do now. All right, getting closer. Um, I got the back step on. I got the side rails on. And I got the uprights up here that uh, this is what supports the roof when it goes back on. Um, don't have everything tightened down yet because I need to make sure everything's aligned up before I tighten it. Um, but the, the seat itself flips over like that into a cargo bed and that puts the seat back underneath there. So I think the next thing is to put the seat back on or the, actually the seat bottom that goes right there. So I'll do that now. Um, one of the things, this kit was a pretty decent kit, but for some reason, I don't know what it is, but this corner over here, there's a bracket. There's a, I don't know if you can see it there or not, that 90 degree or 45 degree cut um, bracket right there. There's only one bolt that holds that in, and it's got a flange back here and a flange underneath. And I had to put pressure on this, a lot of pressure on this with a clamp, pushing it that way to get it to line up with that hole. I don't know if that's typical or not, but... Everything else down there was tightened up underneath, and it's pretty stout right now. I mean, I can stand on it, so uh, I gotta keep going though. Uh, it's getting late and it's hot out here. Well, it's on there, it's all done. Um, got the seat on, the top back on. And the uh, regular seat up front, the driver's seat is back on. So it's all in there. Um, the kit is a decent kit. I won't say it's a great kit. I bought it off of eBay. Uh, it was about 250 bucks, I think, something like that. And uh, 
it's just got a little quirks to it. Some of the holes don't line up really well. The instructions are uh, bad enough that uh, the instructions are bad enough that uh, you got to go back and forth, back and forth to looking at them because the pictures aren't real clear. They show two pieces together, but they're black and black, so you can't really tell. Took a little uh, work at it, but uh, got it done. Uh, I only ended up using uh, two Miller Genuine Drafts on this project, so it's uh, it's ready to roll. This is the way we do it. All done.